Maybe you see me solve problems like the double springed pendulum or simulating the notes on a guitar in Python and playing them. And maybe you know a little bit about Python, but you don't really have that access to that power that Python can give you for these sorts of problems. Well, I'm here and I'm starting this new video series and my goal is to take you guys who maybe know a little bit about Python and build you up through a series of tutorials so you can tackle those problems in whatever courses you're taking or just for fun to solve cool problems. Now look, today is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna be reviewing the basics. Maybe it's too easy for you. I still suggest you go through it, take a review of Python, make sure that you understand everything. Um, eventually we're gonna get into the bulk of NumPy and the power it can do, the power of plotting in Python, making animations, doing all this stuff. Uh, even getting into data reading and looking at data analysis and stuff like that. Uh, SymPy for symbolic computation. There's a lot on the plate. And I want you guys who are starting and maybe not so much, so eventually you can engage in these big scientific numerical problems that I'm engaging in as well. All right guys, before we get started today, um, you're gonna go to this webpage here. This is where we're gonna download our Python um, interactive notebook. You press download here. It'll bring you here and you need to go to get the particular installer for your operating system, right? Once this is installed, you search for Anaconda prompt and open that. And you need to type in Jupyter, J-U-P-Y-T-E-R space lab. And this should open up your coding software here, Jupyter lab. It'll load, it'll open. And uh, you can make a, a notebook by clicking on this for whatever file you're at. So for example, um, I want to be here right now. And so I can click on this and this brings me to my notebook and you guys can make a new notebook clicking that button. Uh, so this is an introduction video. I'm gonna give you everything you need, the groundwork, right? You need the groundwork to be able to build the building. And so the stuff I've been doing you really got to establish this. So don't just follow along. Actually bring up a notebook and code with me. You're not going to learn if you just listen. You got to code. So before starting, you have to learn the commands of this system, right? You'll be slow otherwise. Uh, so there's cells, right? This is how this works. You see that my blue will highlight different cells. Uh, this would be a text cell. This is a text cell. If I want to make a new cell, I press B. See how the cells are appearing? That makes these new cells. If I'm highlighted on this cell, you notice I can type, for example, right? If I want to get out of typing, I press escape. So enter, escape, enter, escape. Enter means type, escape to go out of that. Um, if you want to create a new cell above the cell you're currently on, you press A, right? And that makes a cell above. If you want to create a cell, so I can type, I can press escape. If I want to create a cell below, I press B. That creates a cell below. So learn these commands, practice them, get used to them. It should be like, you know, natural. Uh, if you type DD really fast, it'll delete cells. So DD, DD, notice how it's deleting these cells. I'm tapping it really fast. And if I want to undo that, I press, if I delete a cell and I don't want to undelete it, I can press Z to get it back. But I want just one cell here for now. And if I have a cell, for example, um, something like this that I want to run, I press shift and enter at the same time. So go, th go through that, get used to all those commands. You're going to be using them all the time. This is like your bread and butter of this. <laughs> Uh, so the main thing about Python, the first thing I should mention is just plugging in numerical expressions. How can you use Python as a calculator, right? I can go four times three. Notice the times is a star on your keyboard. That's shift eight. So that gives you the star four times three, 12. I can go plus three. That gives me 15. You can use it as a calculator. I can do, for example, five divided by six gives me whatever that fraction is. I can go square. If I square something, two stars for squaring it. 5 to the power of 2, that's 5 squared, it gives me 25. And of course you have to use bed mass rules. So if I go like 6 plus 7, notice how I can have a space here or no space, it doesn't matter. Usually spa uh, one space spaces things out nicely. 6 times 7 plus 3 divided by 4, it will take um, 13 divided by 0 0.75, right? It's uh, bed mass rules. So um, this and then times and then divide, so classic rules. Uh, there's also a few more operators you should be aware of. There's integer division. So if I go 16, two slashes five, it says that five goes into 16 three times. Integer division, how many whole times does five go in? 
And finally, there's the um, modulo operator, which says if I divide 16 by 5, what's my remainder? And that tells me my remainder is 1. Number 17, that my remainder should be 2. Uh, that's how this stuff works. So 4 times 5 plus 6, you know, anything you want really. 14 divided by 5 should give me 2.8. Integer division 2. So practice around with that, get used to that.